Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement. So I wanted to do this word of encouragement prior to next week's election because I don't want this to be viewed as a response to the election, but I know this, half of you are going to think the world is coming to an end Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Half of you. And so I want to speak into that, and regardless of who wins and who loses, this message is, I want to be a word of encouragement. Um, and it's found in, it's, it's Jeremiah is writing um, the, 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 the Israelites that have been moved by King Nebuchadnezzar uh, from Jerusalem into exile in Babylon. And it's in Jeremiah 29, and I want to start in the fourth verse. Jeremiah writes this to those that are being sent off in the exile. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Babylon, from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prop prospers, you too will prosper. Jeremiah is saying that what God is saying is, listen, even in exile, even in exile, you go and you live your life in relationship with me. You continue to plant fields, to build houses, to give your sons and daughters and marriage, and, and to pray for the city to which I send you. And that's a city in Babylon. You're in exile. And God's saying, pray for that city. Because if it prospers, you prosper also. And if you go down a little further, uh, it says this. In verse 10, this is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. Whatever it might look like on the other side of the election, it's temporary. And whatever it looks like on the other side of the election, God is still God. God has not relinquished his, his throne. God is still God. God will still provide for us and still take care of us, and God will still be God. Live your life in a godly way, a life of trust and faith and hope, and be encouraged.